Hey guys, Greg and Stacy here with Keizu Keto, bringing you another episode of Carboholic Does Keto. This is week number 36. 36. For some reason that number seems significant. Well, technically it would be nine months if every month was only four weeks. Oh, long. okay. That's probably why you think that. Well, it's not nine months because it's only mid-September. That's right. We still have a couple weeks before Stacy hits nine months. Although I think technically I'm at nine months now. Yeah, you probably are. Well, I will be on Sunday. No. Today's Saturday. Yes. College game day. College game day and day after Stacy's birthday. Yes. Before we get into that, let's talk about numbers. Numbers, numbers. Okay, so I started keto January 1st. 293.2 pounds. Um, yesterday, on my birthday, I got my lowest, which was 221.6. Six. Nice. So that's like 72, just slightly under like 72 pounds. So happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. New low. That's nice. Unfortunately, when I weighed in this morning, it was exactly one pound more than yesterday. And there's reasons for that. And we'll get to that <laughs> in a few minutes. So we also test our blood pressure and our ketones and our glucose mm -hmm. uh, every Sunday. Today's Saturday because we got family coming up for Stacy's birthday tomorrow. Yeah. So what are those numbers looking like for you? So blood pressure was 108 over 63. So it went down because last week it was 112, went down a little bit. Um, ketones, my ketones have been a steadily decreasing over the last three weeks. So three weeks ago it was 0.9. Last week it was 0.8. Today it is 0.7. So I'm not sure if that's what you were talking about with my body, just being used to it Figuring or it if i am maybe with all these truffle things that i'm trying out maybe i'm having a little bit too much artificial sweetener could be could be i don't know we'll figure it out yeah um but my glucose was down a little bit because it's been in the mid to high 90s and today it was down to 92. awesome so go figure you feeling well i'm feeling tired and as per usual on Saturday, I have a headache. That's fantastic. Stacy has this thing with stress and her and they don't get along very well. No, I push it away all week and then it comes back with a vengeance on the weekend. Absolutely. Which is always fun. She's always a pleasure to be around on the weekends too. She's feeling miserable. So I too have a success story this week. You do. I do. You do. And when did you start again? So I started December 15th of 2018 which means that this Sunday would technically be nine months for me, um, mm -hmm. which is 39 weeks, I think right now, almost. So it'll be 40, like 40-ish weeks uh, for me. Um, and I too am down. I weighed in this morning at 261.2. Which is awesome. Which is exactly 110 pounds, because I weighed in at 371.2. So that puts us at like 182 total? How much for are you? both of us, like 72. Yeah, so 182 total. 182 pounds lost. Nice. Yeah, high five that on is that one. awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's crazy. Okay, so my blood pressure was 128 over 75, and that's pretty that's good. good. Yeah, and considering I used to take medication for blood pressure. To get to that. No, no, it, I would you get medication to get to the high 130s. Oh shit. Yeah, so crazy. Crazy, no medication for blood pressure at all, and I am 128 over, what did I say, 75? Mm -hmm. So, feel amazing too, it's awesome. So my glucose today was 89, which is a little bit lower than what it has been. I mean, I've been usually, I was usually in the 90s, generally You're speaking. normally, I think you're normally like mid to high 90s. Yeah, I mean, it fluctuates, but like just as a, as a fasting glucose, hmm. I'll take 89, it's pretty good. Ketones higher than Stacy's. I was at 1.1 this morning. So, good stuff. Good stuff. So that's our numbers for this Carboholic. 36 weeks. 36 weeks. Um, we do have some other exciting stuff to talk about. Stacy turned 40. How did you celebrate your 40th birthday, Stacy? We kept it low key in the past. In the past, there have been antics. <laughs> it's true, there have been <laughs> For my birthdays. Many antics. That have involved being out in public. Yes, <laughs> and maybe in some sort of restaurant slash bar. And maybe walking down the street singing the 
songs from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Clip inserted here. I cannot believe she knows this song. Low key meant just a few friends over to play some board games. Play some board games, and one of those friends messaged me. Oh, is that how she figured out? And what she kind? said I would like to get Stacy some sort of didn't know that alcoholic beverage, but I don't want her to screw up her diet. What should I get her? <laughs> and as you know, probably from some of our other videos, this is Stacy's favorite champagne. Um, and I told her that the little bottles would be good because that's usually what Stacy gets, but. Evidently, they didn't have any more little bottles, so she got Stacy a big bottle. And what happened, Stacy? And once you open it, you can't get that cork back in there. We have a special thing that goes in there to no, no. plug it up. No, no, yeah. yeah, no. So I made use of the whole bottle. Yep, all by herself. Yep. I turned forty. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean you're entitled. You're entitled. And how did you feel after you, uh... I felt pretty good most of the night. Until? Until I laid down to go to sleep. And then bad and things And then once I laid down to go to sleep, I kind of felt nauseated. And I, my stomach felt like it was the size of a air, hot air balloon. I literally felt like I was like... Um, so I tried to roll over and just go to sleep. But of course, if you drink a lot and you try to go to bed, you know you have to get up and pee a lot during the night, which mm -hmm. I did about four or five times. And as the night went on, it got worse. Worse. <laughs> it got a lot worse. I was sleeping like a baby. Yeah, I thought I was. So I have never thrown up from drinking. Never thrown up, never blacked out, never passed out, nothing. And I think I came really, really close to throwing up last night because like my face got all hot and I was yeah. just like <laughs> and you've been a lot drunker than you were last I night. have I, mean, I you have were, you were feeling pretty good but yeah no I've drank more the equivalent of more than that in the past pre-keto yeah. like yeah. and had many a drunken night yeah but I don't think I ever felt as bad during one of those right, as I right. did last yeah. night it's, that was terrible processing. And this is the low carb champagne too. I yeah. think it was what two carbs per per like eight ounces. Eight ounces. And yeah. how many ounces are in there? How I many? don't know. They go by milliliters. Oh man! But we could probably figure this out. It's like a 750 milliliter. That's sad that I know that without looking. Yeah, well, that's why I said it's a fifth. <laughs> hey Siri. How many ounces is 750 milliliters? Twenty-five point three. So that's only slightly more than a twenty-ounce Coke that I used to drink all the time. No wonder I drank the whole bottle. Well, I don't know if that's the reason you drank the whole bottle. But <laughs> so, so that's why. So it goes eight so ounces fast. is two carbs, and so, if it's twenty-five, so you can multiply uh, it's that like times three, three. It's like three of those. So you basically yeah. had three of the small ones. So, so it's only like six carbs. But. Six. Six, eight carbs, something like that. That's a lot of alcohol for your liver to process when it's like been <laughs> on vacation for a while. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of crazy. So. Um. Yeah, but last night it was it was not it was not fun. It was not. It was I was like, is this night ever gonna end? Yeah. <laughs> I think the last time I went up to got up to go pee, there were some there were some intestinal issues that we'll just say it evacuated the rest of everything else oh. that was in my body. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably why I didn't throw up. Which I made her a really <laughs> expensive filet mignon steak last night. <laughs> That's right. So it makes me sad to know that it was vacated so quickly. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, you forgot because you're like, I don't know what happened before this. <laughs> so anyway, 40 years old. Well, we had a good time. 40 years young. You did. Yep. And I liked that it was low-key. And you were going to make some of your lemon cake shuffles. And I was. I was going to make some more last night, but... But I ended, up make, I ended up making you birthday cake ice cream. Yep. And birthday cake ice cream. With and you put sprinkles, sprinkles in it. Sprinkles. 
And then I think I threw some chocolate chips in it. Yeah. So we also got some exercise in today. Yes. So you were feeling pretty decent enough. So you recuperated, woke up. Well, I said today. last night I wanted to go for a bike ride today. You did. You did. Drunk so we, off my butt, I said I wanted to go for a bike ride today. Yep, we did. Drunk off her. Yep. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm like, okay, we'll make that happen. Let's see how you feel in the morning, darling. Yep. So we jump on our bikes and we rode over to our local favorite Mexican restaurant and had mm -hmm. us some low carb options that they're yep. so so awesome over there. For you new subscribers, we um, there's a, um, a family that owns a restaurant called Fiesta Burrito and they've sort of catered to our keto lifestyle. We were kind of brought into their family. So if you guys are in the Southern, Southern Michigan region and or near Kalamazoo, uh, check them out. Yep, they're um, Kazu Keto sent you. They have actually quite a few options, I think, um, for low carb or yeah. keto compared to a regular restaurant. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get them into those chaffle bowls. <laughs> See how that works. They watch our videos too, so Neva. <laughs> chaffle bowls. <laughs> Tell Errol and she knows. My daughter works over there too. So anyway, lots of fun stuff. But yeah, we got some we had some really cool shots on the bike. I mean, there's really beautiful trails and we're trying to eat up the rest of summer. How are you guys spending the rest of your last few days of summer? Leave us know in the comments below what you guys were up to this weekend. All right, guys, so you probably wonder what we're drinking and we're gonna tell you. So I have fruit punch and you have- Grape. And these are Zip Fizz. So if and you guys, if you've been following us for a while, yeah, you, you know don't. that I am obsessed with it. Obsessed. He drinks it, but I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, I drink it occasionally. Um, what I use it primarily for is sort of a multivitamin because it does have a lot of the, the, the good stuff. Magnesium, potassium, a lot of electrolytes that go into it. So it does have a quite a sizable amount of B12 and also... Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of caffeine. There's a little bit of caffeine. natural caffeine. Natural caffeine, yeah. So, and there's no sugar. Um, but it is sweetened a little bit with sucralose. Mm -hmm. So if you're not interested in sucralose, um, probably not interested in zip fizz. But um, there has been a number of tests that have been done about how it impacts your glycemic index and all that other stuff. And does it spike your insulin and stuff like that. And everything has kind of come back that it doesn't. It so, does have two nut carbs. Yeah, it does have two nut carbs. So Which I will willingly give up every day. This is great because this is uh, fantastic for like magnesium and potassium and all those types of minerals that you normally get with a multivitamin and just being able to drink it rather is and it helps you get your water in stacy's got the grape one i got the fruit punch but they have a ton of different flavors they're like 13 different yeah. flavors stacy and i, I share... stock their website a little bit <laughs> just got a problem just like i said i'm upset maybe it's not necessarily the website it's their twitter yeah i'm always looking at their twitter so What's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor is blueberry raspberry, which somebody doesn't like raspberry, so it never gets ordered. Somebody else can order. She has the ability to order stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mine's probably the black cherry. I also really like the black cherry. I like the pink lemonade. She doesn't like the fruit punch, so that's put aside for Greg. I don't like the fruit punch. The orange soda is good. You like the grapefruit. Yeah, I grapefruit's decent. Um, they have a berry flavor that I want to try. So there's a bunch of, like I said, there's like 13 flavors. I want to try them. Like, I've tried this. I will drink it if I absolutely have to, but I do not like fruit punch. Um, same with the grapefruit. It's not overly grapefruity for anybody that doesn't like grapefruit like me. If you're in a pinch, it'll work. Um, but I get kind of frustrated because... I can't find any kind of variety pack other than the one they have at Sam's and Costco, which is just the grape, the fruit punch, and the orange soda. Yeah, usually. That's it. So they sell them in two different ways. They sell them in the 30s, 30 tubes, or they sell them in 20 tubes. And the 30 tubes, um, they sell them either a single flavor or a multi flavor. And the multi flavors are like three flavors. Mm -hmm. So I actually made some popsicles. You remember our ice cream maker thing? She made popsicles and we tried those, and that was pretty good. The grape. So I would like to find, I'm curious if anybody can find these sold singly anywhere. Yeah. You because, know of any stores? What? I ask if they know of any stores yeah. that would sell them singly. Like this is part of the reason why I want to start a keto store in our right. community. So yeah. I can buy these <laughs> yeah, you can buy <laughs> and we can sell them and then I can try them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll obviously leave all the links for that 
um, for all this, you know, for the, all the Zip Fizz stuff down there. If you've never tried Zip Fizz and try it, let us know what you think of it. If you have been probably a longer keto than us and have been using Zip Fizz, let us know what your favorite flavor is down below. Mm -hmm. Definitely curious. See how many, see how many we can get for pro, pro black cherry and anti blue raspberry. The blue raspberry is good. Eh, it's gross. It's raspberry. It's actually not blue raspberry. It's blueberry raspberry. Oh, wow. Well. Blueberry. They need a blueberry only and get rid of that garbage <laughs> raspberry stuff. It's good just the way it is. Although I would take a blueberry only too. Yeah, I see. And like, a raspberry Like a blueberry only. lemonade would be Like good. there are so many flavors they could do. I'm sure they're working on them. They need to get on it. They need to get on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time. Stay keto. See you guys.